Germany for Armwall's killer instinct. We start in the middleweight division and Andreas Hoffmann. This man hails from Hanau in Germany. He is the two-time over-the-top champion and multiple German national champion at 85 kilos. His opponent is Ambush, Niklas Nanastad. This man hails from Angleholm, Sweden. Six feet, six inches tall and 84 kilograms. He is the multiple Swedish national and Nordic champion. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match. It's a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. Andreas Hoffman making his debut in the Super Series as a real baptism of fire. The young German has tremendous pedigree, but he's facing one of the top wrist, men in the wrist, sport. Yeah, wrist, and a man who's made his home wrist, in the Super wrist, Series. Wrist, Ambush, wrist, Niklas Nanastad, the steel wrist, giraffe. This man's leverage is ridiculous. He's slipped. We'll go to the strap. Nanastad was straight back in there. Didn't want to waste any time. Watch for the speed from the Swede. Stay there. Wrist there. Real massive long lever again, sank control early, and there's the big drive and a parallel pin. Nanastad out of the blocks quick there, gained hand control and finished with a real drive to the side. Look at this, total hand and wrist control. Andreas Hoffman there, nowhere to go, elbow at the back of the pad, but he's no point to lever, and he's hammered. I don't know if he's still fighting since the war, man. Oh, it's a longer thing, I'm glad he never saw it. I thought it. Ja, han vill gå upp, men han håller rätt så högt så jag får inte den på den, därför det blir den. Han är sin hakan vid en linka hand, så jag blir sin kamp. Pass av, så bara till ni strapkett, vet du? Ohne strap, alldeles kan det gå att ha en skönskott spela, men så bara till ni strapkett, har du egentligen gar inte chansen att höja till honom. Det som vi i träning med gör med höja kommer, det skapar inte, för han står så där, har du här den druck. Det betyder att när han går, går alla så. Technical advice from the bantamweight champion of the world, Kevin, the hammer, Burbridge, in the corner of Andreas. But he's nowhere to run again in terms of the hand and wrist. He's trying to apply the tricep press, but look at the confidence of the steel giraffe. Unbelievable power. Nicholas Nanastad uses that lever so well, he just kept out of harm's way. Didn't allow Andreas to get anywhere near his shoulder. Always keeping the pressure applied up into the hand and wrist. Then he just pops to the back of the pad, sweeps to the side. So I gick inte till i starten tänkte jag inte göra det för det. Så bara på kan fick handen på en rätt. Towering above Freddy Gunnarsson in his corner. The steel giraffe. Yeah, wrist here, wrist. Same height wrist here. Wrist as here. no Shoulders. limit. Stevan Larratt, the undisputed Shoulders. number one in the world at any weight. And yet this man is only 84 kilograms. Yeah. Look at the hand and yeah. wrist control again. Yeah. Hoffman driving at that tricep press, yeah. but his hand and wrist has been sacrificed. The yeah. Nanastad is in total yeah. control. Starts to apply that backwards Cobra and then drives to the side. And he's just completely dominating the German here in front of his home crowd. Look at that again. Completely scooped his hand and wrist. The point of leverage there, the wrist. And then as he slides to the back, that leverage increases enormously. And Andreas Hoffman has nowhere to go. No, it's good to hold it there. One of your muscles is on the blood. Size and deep breaths in the corner of the German. You do feel for him here in front of his home crowd. Shoulders. In a packed arena here in Essen. Shoulders. Nothing wrong with this man's power, his pedigree is beyond question, but he just cannot get any kind of purchase in there. He's driving again for that hook for the tricep, 
but he's nowhere near. And the man from Angleholm is just literally playing with Andreas Hoffman. What a display of dominance from the Steel Giraffe. Ambush, Nicholas Narastad. Complete control off the start. Never allowing Hoffman anywhere near his power, never getting wrist to wrist. Ironically, Nana Stad is super strong should the match go there, but no need. Four, I think. Yeah, the fight on the fat. Angling is too. Lukas the Vito should be out to move more. Such my teeth to fight. Have you grade? Hast du? Hoffman is saying there that he cannot get the hook. He can't set this match for power. He's trying to be fast away, trying to make it wrist to wrist. I'm sure Nana Stad may show him something later on and let the match go into the hook, but he'll get himself totally comfortable burning out. Hoffman with a drop wrist press technique, but he'll get no change out of that one. Straight into the straps again. And this is where Nana Stad is so dominant. Got the two anchor points, the wrist and the hand. And he can run his wrist out of the match, but his elbow to the back of the pad early as he does there, and then scoops high into the hand. Allows him to take the power away as Hoffman drives, but he's gone on to the running foul. Fortunate, really, to be given a straight up foul there by Richard Poole, the man in the stripes. Big drive again from Hoffman. Actually, Nicholas Narastad was looking up to go on the runner there. He was driven off the pad momentarily, but it's of no consequence. An ambush smashes to the pad, rides the hit, drives around. Actually, looking on the replay, maybe he didn't go on a running foul. Now watch this slingshot pin, bang, straight to the pad, and that was painful for the German. I go rock in with low stuff. Sounds quite fun. Just another day at the office for the Steel Giraffe. Foiled. Now he lets Andreas get into the hook for the first time. And as I said earlier, he's no dummy in there, is he? This may be a tall, slim built. Oh, look at that. He's completely.